Buffalo and I moved to Las Vegas in 2006 and um, I was six months pregnant with my second son and December 5th of 2010 I went into the hospital and had to have an emergency c-section and from there everything um, just spiraled out of control. I had a sepsis and DIC and liver and kidney failure and I was on life support for three weeks and so I was in the hospital for 11 months and with that my limbs became um, necrotic and so I had to have the amputations in January of 11. I, I didn't realize you know how close to death that I was until you know afterwards and realizing and hearing everything. Shannon is wearing state-of-the-art prosthetic equipment. Everything from her prosthetic feet, which are, you know, energy storing feet. Uh, they return about 97% of the energy that she applies to them. Right up through her prosthetic knee joint. It's a microprocessor controlled knee. Um, it's basically an onboard computerized knee that helps her walk. Her upper extremity has a very modern socket design, um, microprocessor controlled um, hand system. Um, with electrodes over you know the surface of her skin and so you know the electronics um, have made um, you know prosthetic functionality you know so much better now than than ever before so I started with my left leg and um, to be able to stand up before I was able to leave the hospital, stand up and go from the bed to the wheelchair or wheelchair to bed. And then after that we did, um, he did the right side. And um, so I can stand, you know, both on both legs and be able to walk. And just a, about a month ago I received the left arm. This is the first time I've ever fit a quadrilateral amputee with, with prosthetic limbs, but really when you look at it, it's really one limb at a time. Um, every one of the prosthetics are you know, custom made, um, incorporate all the design elements that you would make for really any, anyone else. Well, once I have all four limbs, then it will be you know, putting my prosthetics on and being able to walk with as little as assistance as I can get. I am lucky to be alive. You know, I, I didn't realize how sick I was until after reading everything and understanding everything. But um, now that I, I am alive, you know, I just want to get back to as normal as possible. That's going to be a challenge, but I'm just going to keep doing it until I do it. <laughs> I'll be able to do it. Shannon's uniqueness really is um, about her attitude. Um, she's a real tiger. She really goes after it um, more than I've ever seen anybody. You know, just be thankful for what you have, and I always say it can be someone worse than me. You know, I can not be able to move, I can be paralyzed, I can be dead, so I'm just happy to be still seen. <laughs>